Hey guys, live life your way, we're back. New year, first wow of the year, and Damien's the first prize winner, he gets to go first. <laughs> yeah, can, can you feel the enthusiasm exuding from him? <laughs> Got a big one coming up. Um, We've got a pretty much almost actually every piece of equipment being used today, including kettlebells. <laughs> Look at that enthusiasm! <laughs> Made a few changes to the gym, um, added in a mirror, which is going to be so handy because I've had a few people ask me, blah blah blah, I need to be able to see what I'm doing a little bit sometimes when they're doing their own work. So, finally added in a mirror, yay! Um, but we've got all this outdoor area, which is great, so the weather's actually starting to come good for a change. So we're going to get into this, we're going to do first wow of the year. Damien's going to hate it, it's going to be in two parts. Let's have a quick look at that. So, what we've got? Sled push, so 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Sled push, box jumps, double kettlebell swings, or single, if you prefer to go for the single. So do you, if you want to wuss out. And then squats with a cone to cone done that one before and I went home. Wow. That's part one. So you got to do those three times. Three rounds. 40 seconds, 15 seconds off. 40 seconds worth, 15 seconds. Then we get to round two. Woo! Round two. Uh, Bulgarian bag deadlifts by 20. Push-ups by 20. Barbell bent over row. Alternating dumbbell clean and press, two weights there to choose from. Weight plate thrusters, remember what your thrusters are, it's a squat with a shoulder press. And punches to finish off with. That's a total time. So if we can get through then, as opposed to the other, part one is a fixed specific set of time. All right. Getting the, the stopwatch out. All right, so guys, get yourself set on sled push. Now remember it's, uh, 40 seconds work. Oh, what happened to my phone? 40 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Ready? Once this clock starts, the entire wow starts. Ready and go. Well, that works out well. You should be able to get double run from 40 seconds because that's 15. Or maybe a triple. Ooh. Depending on how quickly you go. Notice I'm being nice. I'm not putting any weight on that. Three, two, one. You can park it on the other end. You can park it up there if you want. That's your 40 seconds. Box jumps or step ups. Five seconds. Go. All right, 40 seconds worth of step ups or box jumps. Step ups are a safer alternative in the wetter grass, the early, such an early morning. Double kettlebell swings, pick your kettlebells. I'd probably recommend the seven and a halfs. Two, one, go. That was the worst kettlebell swing start <laughs> I've ever seen. Considering we did Bulgarian bags and kettlebells last week. <sighs> Honestly. All right, cone to cone run. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Single squat on each end, squat, run. That's a jog. Run, Forrest!
Ten seconds. One. Done. All right. Over to the next exercise, which will be sled push again. That's round one round down. All right. Damon's is on final leg of part one. Uh, his glutes are apparently starting to fatigue, which is a bit of a worry because part two is going to require a hell of a lot more glute. But as I was just saying to him a moment ago, where do we burn the most amount of calories from after weight loss? biggest muscle groups and the biggest single muscle so there's going to be glutes and quads so the whole point of this workout is basically to hammer them pretty hard and burn some decent calories as well as gain all that strength and stability and endurance and done so now you're on a two minute rest two minute rest period before round two for part two is he dead hang on let's poke him and find out is he dead? <laughs> no, he's still alive and he hasn't spewed yet. So we've got part two to go now. <laughs> Alrighty, part two. Everyone's got to do the same workout. Part two is a total time score, but it's reps. It's pure just reps for each of these work exercises. So it's just smashing out 20 reps of each one. Starting off with Bulgarian bag deadlifts, which I know these guys love Bulgarian bags so much. Ready? Go, you're on the clock. Uh, and we're in the shade for the first of the exercises. Yay. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Doing well. 18, 19, and 20 reps. Awesome, go to 20 push ups next. Yep, use the handles. We've talked about using the handles before. And the biggest reasons why I get a client to use handles, dumbbells, calisthenics handles, is because it takes the pressure off the wrist when you're doing a push-up, as opposed to putting your wrist on the floor and putting pressure on that rotational part of the wrist. I hope you've counted, because I didn't. Good. We'll do 20 in total. Alright, up next is barbell bent over row for 20 reps. And the bar is set in the rack, ready to go. And down to the squat rack. Barbell is set, standing bent over row. We've done plenty of these before. You know how to do this movement. Bring that bar a little bit further forward, that's it. Good. That's it. It's nine. It's eleven. How's the glutes holding up? Fourteen. Fifteen. Doing well. You only got five to go. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good work. All right. Up next is the glute killer, the dumbbell clean and press. Yep. And you got a choice on weights there. <laughs> He's going to go for the light one. I can guarantee it. <laughs> I ain't stupid. He's going for the weeder one. I remember, it's alternating. The light one is seven and the heavier one is 11. Drive with the glutes. That's six.
He's on the home stretch. Last exercise. He's absolutely trashed. His last exercise, he's only got to 20 crunches and then he's done. I think we're just about there. Awesome, has done so well. Damien has done absolutely awesome. And he's done. Done. <laughs> um, and the thing that we've got here now is that Damien's pretty much hit lactate threshold, which is uh, going to be interesting because it's the second time that's happened to him on a wow. Um, basically, that means his body's got so many toxins in it, it's having trouble dealing with all of them, and it just wants to vomit them back up. That's what lactate threshold is going to do to the body. We're going to create so many toxin, toxins from uh, working the muscles so hard, um, and it's got to dump them somewhere. He sweated, he's in his urine as much as it can, he's, in, he's sweated as much as, it, as he can, and now it's dumping it all in his stomach, so that's what ends up happening. That's why you end up throwing up after a big workout. Sometimes you've hit lactate threshold. Notice he's not moving. Should I poke him to see if he's alive? I'm good. He's alive? He's alive? Yeah. 